My name is Li Mingwei. I am a conceptual artist who does interactive work. I was a weaver for many years before becoming a conceptual artist. Clothing, especially these magnificent ones, are a signifier, almost like a second skin. It's like a chameleon. Uh, you can change your skin and put on a different robe, and you're a different person. Two out of these three robes are for imperial purpose. The middle one here is for a performance purpose. The symbolisms are very strict. You cannot wear anything that is above or even below your rank. The bluish, yellow, golden one has a lot of bats flying around. And for Westerners, you think, well, why bats? It's a linguistic reason. Bats in Mandarin has exactly the same pronunciation as fortune, good fortune. So that's why they use bats, and they are circling around this character, Shou, which means longevity, suggestion of you're gonna live forever. This other one is for the emperor, the son of heaven. So you have dragon, which is even higher, is for the emperor use only. And you have these highly stylized waves and clouds and the fire. So all of these are natural element that has kind of a mystical element to it, just like the person was wearing. I know that there were court weavers. The ones that were creating work for the empress probably do not do things for the, the lesser concubine. There is a hierarchy. I was looking at these and thinking what I'm wearing right now is really the direct descendant of these. It's quite impressive that throughout three, four hundred years, nothing really changed that much. They are designed in such a way that they make you look bigger. And most of the people at that time were quite small, and you start thinking, these are designed not to show your body, it's to hide your body, to make you look magnificent when you walk into the hall. Not many people wear this anymore. However, when I'm in the West, this is what I wear because a different part of me comes out and I like that my body moves in a very different way because the fabric catches the air. Therefore, I have to walk in a kind of stately way. And I like that glance of admiration from someone from a different culture looking at my own heritage. It's creating a character for the audience. Your message is very powerful. You're my subject, and everything I'd say is the rule. <laughs>